Right, how do we start this one? Hey! Oh, oh hello. Hi everyone, it's only Josie and Graham is back there somewhere finding another beer. Um, welcome to our 2021 Alton Towers trip. It's the first time we have been here for four years um, and a lot has happened. Uh, most significantly a pandemic which we are kind of still in the midst of although the ending is nigh but probably not going to be as near as we think it is um, but in any case who cares about a pandemic I'm on holiday it's only two nights but I'm here so we are in the village of Alton well just outside the main village but um, we are at the Chained Oak B&B, &B, um, which is, if you can hear that noise in the background, Alton Towers, if I spin around, is just across this field. And what you can hear, if you can hear it, is oblivion. Yeah, we are just across the road from the park. It is insane. So we have just got, and we can walk there. It'll take us 10 minutes across this field to walk there. You can't get better than that. And uh, this is an absolutely lovely place to stay. We've had a good look around our lodge because we've got a nice wooden cabin to stay in. So it's a bit more luxurious than the last time we went on a trip. Um, and I've got all sorts to show you and I can't wait. This is going to be such a good short break. And I thank you for joining me and Graham, of course, on our little jaunt. So um, let's show you around. So first on our tour, I'm going to start with this beautiful pond. And there are some ducks that seem to live here so quite a good start and and the field as well and here so this is a pot that I suppose you can use if you want because we have a fire pit with logs and a little barbecue and um, this is this was included in our stay uh, it also comes with a shovel and an, oh, I stepped on something, and an axe as well to chop the wood down should you need. So it's all nice and handy. We've got the bins nearby. So I cannot wait to sit out here in of an evening. Yeah, with the fire. Here he is. The fire maker has arrived. He has. I've prepared the fridge. Oh, fabulous. Yes, it's, well, it, it's, we it's shall show you the it's fridge. It's a masterpiece of alcoholism. I'm actually under no obligation to drive for the next two days. Oh, exactly. I've already told them about the uh, the field and how close we are. Well, I think they can hear how close we are. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. But yeah, it doesn't sound intrusive, does it? The way I see it, you know, you stay here, you stay this close, you expect it. it you know it's there. Mm. Maybe it's a surprise how much it carries, but you're going to come and stay within a few hundred yards of, of X sector uh, and then grumble that you can hear it, then you should have chosen a different hotel. You're a moron. Yeah, I mean, I do feel sorry for the locals because I can't imagine... <coughs> I can't imagine it gets grating. Yeah, certainly the locals who were here before the park was, that would be incredibly annoying. I mean, not, yeah. that I'm, not I'm sure there are many people there before it was any kind of amusement park, but... Yeah, when it was just the gardens. As, it, as it's grown and expanded, I'm sure there are plenty of people who, you know, they've got an understandable objection, those people. Yeah. Uh, and as the rides get more and more advanced, they, they generate more screams. You know what? It's, I don't think it's as loud as I thought it was going to be. It's louder the, than I thought it because, would be. You know, but then you I know, those really trees thought... absorb so much. Well, they, they do. I mean, it's quiet compared to if you're standing in the in it. <laughs> well, understandably. It's certainly not going to upset me. And it's, and it's going to be quiet again come sort of six, seven o'clock, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. But yeah, certainly after seven o'clock, that will be quiet. It'll be quiet as a mouse around here. Yeah. 
early morning there might be some test runs going on mm. you won't have the screams but you'll hear the mechanics and whoosh of uh, yeah. <laughs> wheels I, I do, on rails i do love the noise of oblivion i will say it's when a it good goes, noise it's yeah, a good noise when it goes down the drop it's certainly an understandable why somebody living around here if they're hearing that kind of thing they might get upset about it yeah um i'm sure that like the guys here it might be an annoyance but at the same time it is they're making a killing out of this i should think yeah so yeah you know what who, who who's going to complain if they're making a killing out of having a little b&b right on the doorstep no exactly you know it makes it more attractive to people like us who are yeah. looking to be going to the parks for the majority of their stay if not the entirety exactly and local wildlife has just visited us bye bye bee oh yes um if if uh if fergal the cat comes along um we will introduce we will, you we, we will introduce <laughs> you but, yeah there is a cat that likes to sit around the, the fire so this is the main lodge so as you can see it's uh, small i mean it only sleeps two but there's seating for more <laughs> So, so, you know, if you had friends who were staying at the B&B &B behind us or um, somewhere, you know, in one of the other places nearby, even at the old, one of the Alton Towers hotels, you know, you can probably have them over as long as you're reasonable and quiet and, and uh, the hostess is happy for that to happen. So let's show you around. So we've got a bench, uh, we've got a couple of benches, this one with a table, that with a separate table We've got chairs there's a nice little window there a brolly now let's have a look at this fridge comes with a fridge and croquet balls because you've got to have croquet it's a bit slopey i think i think you might have a disadvantage unless you win by going in the pond i think so <laughs> <laughs> but yes uh graham has put his stella in um we've also got some pims i've got ready-made i've got some ready-made cocktail in there um, but we've got our meat for the barbecue and some cheese. And that is our other drink. <laughs> That's the spirits there, cabinet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, there are, uh, oh, there is a, a bottle opener. There's um, menus for the local takeaways, plus the utensils for the barbecue. There's, where are the plates? They're in there, I think. So, oh, we've got some wine glasses in there. Are they plastic? Oh, glass two wine glasses and two champagne flutes i'm not seeing any tumblers okay um, well, we've got a one. few plates and bowls and there's some cutlery here um looks like a manual with some batteries up there for something not sure what but yeah and we've got these maps up here and random dressing gowns and these lovely chairs we've got blankets I'm not quite sure what kind of fur that is, if it's real or not. Is it sheepskin? Well, I think it is sheepskin, yeah. Oh, so that'd be nice and fluffy. Yeah. Yeah. Feels real. Real sheepskin. Um, as you can see, it's a very rustic look around here. We've got empty bottles of Jaeger up there. <laughs> random, <Damn it>. <laughs> random snowboards. We've got... Um, that one's a you, ski, isn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100%. Oh, sure might, one of them might be, but that, that one's one looks, definitely that looks a snowboard. Like a single water ski. It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, that, that's definitely, one, yeah, so that's definitely, definitely a snowboard. snowboard yeah, and of course your friendly neighbourhood dinosaur. Yeah, we've got various American number plates, which is quite nice. I mean, this was built by um, the the lady who owns the B and B. This was built by her son, who currently lives out in the states so uh, so hence there is a bit of a kind of an american theme going on here i mean it, it does look like an american cabin in the woods doesn't it it does in the staffordshire countryside in fact i think i saw tucker and dale just over there <laughs> if you've never seen this movie that is one we can highly recommend you watch um there is a there is a sink complete with washing up stuff and whatever you need oh there's some Dettol wipes handy doesn't come with the graham drinking beer but i am available at an extra cost there you go <laughs> right so let's show you the main this is the star so welcome to the bedroom do excuse me a moment <laughs> so 
as it is just a log, well not a log cabin, but as it's just a cabin, it's very basic, but we do have a TV. Um, there does seem to be a thermostat here. Um, we've got little bin and plus kettle and tea and coffee that we can make ourselves. So we are in heaven. And this is a bed, we haven't tried it yet, but we will let you know what it's like. The pillows look comfy. Um, springy, the springy mattress we like. It's a nice lampshade, a um, couple of coat hangers and hooks. Um, more, let's find that. So and some more ornaments around the place and pictures. Um, and I like these uh, Chinese ones or Japanese. There we are. And there's also this old newspaper clipping. And another painting up there. And yeah, the door just leads straight out to the deck. And we can see we've got some heating. And there's another little radiator back there. And then just in here is our bathroom. So they've kindly supplied us with towels. And it's just a basic shower and toilet. Um, so um, you can plug your shaver in. Oh, there is a little hand thing there. And oh, does they do supply shampoo and some hand wash, extra loo roll, oh, and some air freshener for those uh, other moments. Oh, Cutty Sark whiskey there, and mirror. Here we go. Hello. Uh, got your bath mat. Yeah, that looks like a good shower. Yeah, so it's basic, but it suits us fine. So that is it in a nutshell, basically. Um, oh yes, and I've got to point out, they, they do leave a little card. I mean, it's not personalised, but I like this card. Look at that. Glittery pineapple. Um, and it just says, welcome to the chained oak bed and breakfast. Breakfast is served from eight till half nine in the main house, which um, we have been shown where to go. And checkout is 10.30, got the Wi-Fi code and anything about the balance as well. So yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of sockets for all our charging, um, for all our chargers and things. Um, yeah, and a little bedside table, so Graham will be happy. Um, and they are dimmable lights, so yeah. Oh, right. So that is our little lodge and I am pretty chuffed with it. I think the mist is chuffed with it as well. I am certainly happy enough. It might not be the peak of luxury, but it is adequate for what we need for the duration that we're here. Mm, absolutely. So, um, as a setting, I think it's quite beautiful, really. Yeah, I know. I'm going to stop this and turn this round. Yeah. So yeah. When we sit here on this porch, that is our view. Isn't that lush? That's how I think it's, it's quite a tranquil setting. Mm -hmm. um, with the <laughs> with well, a hint of theme park. Yeah, it's a beautiful setting. Wear, wear earbuds if you don't want to hear the theme park. There you go. <laughs> Problem solved for the whole of Alton. So I think the plan now mm. is going to be settle a bit and yeah, we'll settle for a few minutes and then we'll have our little wander yeah we're gonna go for a walk and we are going to show you one of the local sites which may or may not tie well actually completely utter and utterly ties into the Alton Towers and where we are oh yeah and and where we are we are in general yeah but we shall tell you more when we get there right oh so we are off on our little walk our uh B and B is just up there somewhere. Oh. Up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I pointed in the general direction. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, we found a. We're walking next to a small stream, and it should take us. It seems to have a large dog tunnel in the middle of it. Yeah, just this random tube. I'm assuming there is a purpose to it, but um, I'm really not sure what that could be. There's the stream itself does not run through it. The stream itself runs under the tree roots and comes back out here. Hmm. You know, even though we haven't walked very far, we are very much in uh, in forest. 
Yeah, we, we, I mean, we're, we're, we're also, following a dirt path. We're also but... a lot lower than the park now. Yes. Yeah, so obviously the further away we go, the quieter it's going to be. Oh, right. Ooh. But yeah, you were saying this path should... Uh... Yeah, I believe this path should bring us out on the old railway line. Uh, and once we get there, we can turn left and go into Alton Village. Yeah. Or we can turn right. If we've turned the right way. That, yeah, that's if we're in the, uh, in the right place. Well, it would be, you would go down, because uh, it would be down to... Oh, here, here, another bit of stream here. Oh, it's got its own little thing there. Yeah. Yeah. So I can down into a, a little well type here. Yeah. And presumably, it will ultimately filter under the car, under our feet, and end up joining the main mini stream. Possibly, yeah. Water likes to gather, you know, it's a, it's a social creature. Yes. Like a pack of wolves. Oh, and um, we, we, looks like, uh, yeah, we didn't have to walk very far at all because we're oh, here. Indeed. We are here. Oh, yes. <laughs> the, the history, I tell you what, that's... Uh... Right. I suppose it's time for the big reveal. Yeah. So, we have come all the way down to a piece of local folklore um it there is nobody here this is true the flies are very friendly around here <laughs> <laughs> so we have come to the famous chained oak and uh a very famous local story if you haven't heard it the story goes as thus thank you for the atmospheric slope <laughs> I'm trying it does not seem as eerie at the moment as I thought it would but anyway the story of the great oak chained oak is the Earl of Shrewsbury uh, the 15th Earl of Shrewsbury I believe something like that anyway he was coming home uh, in his carriage and he is stopped by a beggar woman um, who obviously asks for coin um, for whatever purpose and the Earl goes no away with you and so this beggar woman was a gypsy and so upon being snubbed of her coin said I curse you by this very oak that when whenever a branch falls from this tree a member of your family will die so the Earl laughs and carries on his way and thought nothing more of it and then some time later there was a storm and guess what lightning hit the tree and caused a branch to fall and funnily enough a member of the Earl's family died and so this made the Earl think oh okay so it looks like this curse was genuine um, so what he did was he came down here and got some local men to chain the oak to ensure that no other branch fell from the tree ever again. Um, and that's the story, basically. Um, work. And because this was in the 1800s, um, you know, the tree has continued to grow. Um, but as nature is a wonderful thing, um, it has grown around the chain. So the chain is now becoming an actual part of the tree. Interestingly, um, a branch has fallen from the tree since that initial one um, and the family have reported no deaths. So Graham and I are going to have a little look around. I'll take some snaps. So um, here we are.
Okay, I've been warned. Yeah. So let him go up first. Well, yes, it's supposed to hold the branches in. Clearly, it didn't do a very good job. Yeah? All right, I'm going to stop this and come on up so I can concentrate. <laughs> so yeah this is the back side of the oak as you can see there is so much more chain i mean look at that just growing inwards well, well i suppose the tree's growing around it and there's this massive bit hanging as well So I suppose the only other thing I need to mention about how it, this tree is, how the heck does this chained oak and its story link to Alton Towers? I mean, obviously that's where the Earl of Shrewsbury used to live. Um, certainly at the time this story took place, he, his main residence was Alton Towers, um, way before it became a theme park, um, even before the gardens opened as an attraction as well. Um, so we go way back. Um, but um, if you didn't know, there is um, there is a Vacoma Madhouse ride, um, which takes, well, part of it takes place in Alton Towers, but it uses the legend of the Chained Oak as its premise. So it tells the story of the beggar woman and the curse. Um, and the ride goes on from there um, and it's called Hex the Legend of the Towers um, so that is the link between this and the towers um, it's a superb ride that I've never gotten all the way through because um, it is so atmospheric right that I have chickened out of doing the last bit I got through all the story bit but when it got to the actual ride I was like, no, that's it, I'm out of here. But I am going to try it tomorrow or Thursday. Who knows? But yeah, I shall uh, climb down from here. Um, as um, you have possibly seen, uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a steep way up to come and explore around this tree but yeah if you come up here um, and want to explore the village of Alton and the surrounding things if you want to come and see the tree you know it's on a public path and and it does it looms you know you just suddenly come across it like oh my gosh I did see somebody had carved something into one of the fallen branches um, I would say please don't do that you know it's a tree it's a living thing let's not deface it more than the Earl already did with his chain the longer I stay here the eerier it is because Graham and I are the only two people on this path at the moment you know I love ghost stories and local folklore um, and things like that so the story is absolutely fascinating to me and to see this tree in person is something else please if you come to Alton Towers do come down if you get a moment and come and see the chained oak for yourselves oh, the woodwind noise.
so Graham and I have just left the chained oak. It's there. And um, yeah, there is a wall behind us. Not sure if it's part of the perimeter for the towers or if it used to be a bridge of some description or, or what. I wouldn't have thought bridge. Well, more, 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 more likely edging. Oh, someone else is off to the chained oak. Yeah, and people have now, there's a couple of people that have just arrived at the oak who are now having a look around. So um, I think we've timed it pretty well. <laughs> we've left it for them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just heading down towards the old railway. Um, it's no longer used, so it's nice and grassy green. Mainly promoted as a cycle or walking track, I think now. It is, yeah. So, um, yeah. And so we're going to have a little walk uh, yeah, along it. We might, we might walk down to Alton, go to the pub. We might. And apparently there's a nice cafe there, although we probably just missed there's it. A cafe, if we turn right, that closes it. That Five. closes early. Yeah. Pub to the left in Alton. So we we might go to the pub. We might go to the pub. It's a good thing I've got my mask. It's beer o'clock. Somewhere. <laughs> and it's pretty much beer o'clock here. So uh, yeah, um, we'll carry on. Yeah, yeah, we're we're on the set of Holy Grail, <laughs> or at least it, it looks like it could be, doesn't it? And we've I we've come to for no man. <laughs> I can't even remember the next line. Well, they had the fight, and it ends up. Well, imagine Graham has got nothing but his head. Hang on. Come on, then. There I'll we go. Put your legs off. <laughs> Right, so we've walked along the path quite a way. There's lots of lovely forest in there. It is so peaceful. It is quiet and calm. We've only come across one jogger and we have now come across a platform complete with a smoking Graham. So we're not sure if this is Alton Station or if this was the Earl of Shrewsbury's private platform but hey, it's a platform and we are currently walking on what would have been the tracks. God, look at that blue sky. Yes, that's yeah. a lot of it. Yeah, and now we're coming up to a tunnel as well. It quite possibly goes under the main road. Yeah. So we're probably not too far from the pub. No, I don't think that. I think that is Alton Station. We think this is Alton Station. There you go. You can, you can, yeah, you can see the station house there. It looks further away on the camera than it does in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, here we are. Yeah, here's the station house. So that is the main road on top of the bridge there. So the main road through the village. Uh, so we did see this on our way in because we were on that road. When we drove in. So yeah, here we are. Old Alton Station. I must say it's in a lovely setting. Really? Isn't that a lovely view behind me? Never mind the one in front of me. It's uh, unappealing at best. Mm -hmm. So there, we are at one of the local pubs. The Talbot. Talbot. No less. Yeah. Um, named after the uh, family who used to own Old Towers. So they were the Talbots. <coughs> Earl of Shrewsbury. Um, yep, yeah, so we've had. We've I've got the cider. Graham's got beer. Not that you can see that. Because I can't flip this camera around. But never mind. There, ah, there we go. Yep, so we've just had a little snack, had some chips and a, a really delicious garlic bread pizza with cheese on it. I think it was really wild good. cheese and garlic. Yeah, so, yeah like, or, as... or cheese and wild garlic or something like that. The wild was in there it, somewhere. It was garlicky, it was cheesy, it was gorgeous. It was very nice. Yeah, and some lovely homemade chips. Rustic nice, chips. Good old fashioned chunky, fa oh, yeah, rustic chips. So we are just finishing up our drinks and then we will probably um, start waddling back. 
over that bridge. Over the bridge and back the way we came. So um, Back to the train station to catch our ride home. Yep. On the back of a passing bicycle. Whatever. We remain hopeful. He remains hopeful. Um, so, yeah. I'll catch a backy. Will you? Yeah. Okay. So that's just a little update. Uh, we're sitting in the beer garden. Um, really easy process. Um, so you basically sit down at a table, scan a QR code and order your drinks from the table and then they bring it all over. Um, and they bring your food over in takeaway containers, which is really handy because um, if you don't finish it, you can just take it home with you. Um, unfortunately, in that case, this food was too good. We just ate it all. So um, I haven't got anything to show you, but I, I did take a little picture. So I'll, I'll insert that here, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Graham's making funny shapes. <laughs> so we will see you back at the log cabin for, for more adventures, I suppose. Okay, we have stopped on our walk. This is something that we didn't see on the way up. We've taken the exact same path we did to go to Alton as we are coming back. And just off, so the path is just over that little, not hill, but just over that, over that mound there. And uh, Graham just happened to look to his left and, uh, and saw the river. So we had to come down and have a look. And look, there's a bit of a wall going through it, almost like a, I don't know, as if it was a dam that broke or something. Isn't this nice? And yet weird. I mean, if it's normal for you, then uh, fair enough. But, you know, we don't get this kind of thing around where we live. All these stones. Probably would fill that gap. And there's a nice little stepping stone. Oops a daisy, be careful there is moss and clearly it's damp. Up here, be careful. That's it. Cool. You could have a little paddle. You could. I don't know how deep it is down here though. No, but you just have to stand on the stones though. Yeah. And oops a daisy. Yeah, you can stand on those stones there, in your bare feet. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can sort of see the bottom in a couple of places, so it's not deep, deep. No, I mean, no, it's not deep, but it's, the thing, I mean, you see the rocks here. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're not too deep, but it could, get, it could get very deep, very quick at the top in places. Yeah, it? you can see. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's, it's, it's one of those little nooks that you find and you go, hey, this is nice. Yeah. I'm not sure what, it looks like a deliberate end to the wall, so. Yeah. So I wonder if this was a dam. I wonder if it was a gate. Some sort of boundary gate, I think. They, Could have been. There's possibly been a deliberate re-diversion of the river at some point. Yeah, if anybody knows any of this stuff, then uh, do let us know. You know, and we're still just surrounded by woodland. Okay, here we are, nearly 11 o'clock at night, and it's time for a fire pit review. And you're whispering. Anyway. Let's try well, again. Yeah. Welcome to fire pit reviews at nearly 11 o'clock at night. And oh, look, we've got the moon in the background there as well. Look at that. And it's not even completely dark. So yeah, so, uh, our take of the day, I suppose, isn't it? That's what this is all about. My car works well. It's it a does lovely long... car. Yes, it's a good one. It's where one we for... spent most of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which we didn't film because we had a banging playlist, if I do say so myself. Well, you would. You made it. Exactly. So I am going to big it up. No. You know, I mean, we only had a couple. We stopped for a bite and then... We only had a couple of short delays thanks to a couple of accidents. 
And there's also, also roadworks going on. Excuse me. You can tell it's late, because <laughs> even he's it tired. Yeah. Other takes from the day. Once we got here, we, we were introduced to our room, which... Yep, by our hostess called Liz, who yeah. is a lovely lady. Yes, a lovely lady, a lovely room. Lovely dogs. Lovely dogs, lovely cats, lovely yeah. pond, lovely ducks. Everything's just lovely. It's lovely here. So, um, yeah, we do recommend to stay here, I would say. Yeah, yeah, so far. I haven't tried the bed yet. No comments on that. I, I have laid on the bed and... Um, yeah, I'm going to sleep well. I don't know how he's going to fare, but it's a bit softer than he's used to these days. Oh, dear, my poor back. Um, yeah, but we've, we've been for a little walk. Yeah, yeah. So we had the walk down to the Chained Oak and further on down to Alton for, for a beer. At the pub? Yeah, down to the pub. Yeah, 200 miles to go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just drove 200 miles to go to a pub yeah. and, and to see a, a, a tree, and to look at a yeah, tree. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what else is there to travel for? Exactly. Nothing. Nothing. Never. I mean, the theme park across the road. <laughs> what have we done with the rest of the evening? Why are we filming this at 11 o'clock at night? Because, um, well, we got chatting to um, a couple of the other guests that are here and we invited them to sit at our fire pit and um and fed them bacon rolls yeah bless them because they hadn't eaten <laughs> and, and we had plenty to go round, so you know they're only young and exactly they're, 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 they're babies compared to us they're all right chaps yeah they're cool yeah. Uh, I don't mind them. yeah yeah they're only 18 so uh, only just venturing out into the world bless their hearts lots to learn Lots to learn, but, you know, I think they've got good heads on their think, shoulders. I, don't, I think we've given them some life lessons today. I think we might have. Whether that's sunk in or not is another matter. Whether they were useful is another matter entirely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, they still got all the trials and tribulations that young people go through. Oh, I remember those days. Uh, still going on for me. Oh. <laughs> That's sad, but also good for you. <laughs> <laughs> we better say good night here and uh, do this outro. So yeah. here is uh, the first fire pit review. Yeah, and uh, we have had a really nice day. Nice to meet some new people and explore the area a bit, which we haven't really done very much of. A few miles. Yeah, yeah, a few miles. So. It's a really good walk, so if you like your walks and you haven't done this one yet, then yeah, definitely do that one. It's it's a nice Even one. Even if it's 300 miles away, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it for the walk. So, um, yeah. Thank good night. You. Good night. Thank you for joining us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.